after I made this video, the German media have come out and said the only reason that the German government has denied these sensational claims. The media are saying the government is in cahoots with Tesla. It's intentionally hiding all of Tesla's injuries. It won't tell anyone what they are. It's pushing them under the carpet to try and make sure no one finds out about the shocking injuries at Tesla's factory. Of course, the ministers or the health minister in Germany has said this is categorically false. The media in Germany have decided that um, they needed to attack Tesla a little bit harder. And this is apparently what the minister says, by the way. And they've said that um, there's massive amounts of problems at Tesla's factory in Grunheide in Berlin in Germany because Tesla is unsafe. There's all these crazy things going on there. People are just getting injured all the time. 247 times ambulance or emergency services were called. As a result, things must be going really badly there. Well, the minister has come out and given some real facts showing a little bit of uh, media manipulation going on here. And this is why I think it's very, you gotta be very careful what you read. You gotta be very careful whether or not the media that you're reading has a specific agenda. Well, right now, to be fair, Germany is in a state of flux. It's very worried it's losing its automotive industry. I mean, Volkswagen Group are pausing EV production. They're firing workers, moving some production to China. And you can see why there's some panic about the German automotive industry. Why potentially some parts of the media might be going after Tesla, who are considered the disruptors. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Now, there has been actually numerous reports over the last years, couple of years, about the so-called um, terrible things going on at the Tesla factory in Germany. I personally haven't really paid any attention to most of them because most of them seem like they're just sort of almost like hit pieces or things you'd read in something like TMZ, like these sort of TMZ style pieces, not a lot of facts based to them. But anyway, apparently there was a really serious one done by one of the biggest German media organizations recently saying massive, massive problems at the factory. 40% of workers are getting sick, they claim. That's, they don't, when they're asked to back that fact, that number up, the 40%, they weren't able to provide any facts. That was just a Tesla employee told them that apparently. So they wouldn't say who the name of that person was, but that's what they said. It could be true, but I think unless you've got facts, it's unfair to make these statements. Anyway, Brandenburg's health minister, Ursula non matcha shared a firm rejection of the claims suggested or made in an expose from german publication stern the publication alleged that giga berlin had a very high injury rate for its employees three times higher than the equivalent injury rate at the audi factory and authorities were reportedly all too willing to hide issues with the plant apparently authorities are just keeping it undercover they're hiding under the rug in her comments, the German minister denied the allegations of the publication's report. She argued that Tesla is treated like any other car maker in Germany. Ha however, actually, she said this isn't true. She said Tesla is being treated at a harsher level than any other factory in the area, in the entire city. They said the, the checks they're doing on Tesla's factory are a higher and more frequent number than any other factory they have in the entire state. That's what she said. We treat Tesla like any other company. They don't get any discounts or preferential treatment. I can assure you there is no company or large construction site in all of Brandenburg that has been checked more intensively and frequently than the Tesla construction site. The German publication stated that in the year following Giga Berlin's launch, emergency service operations were requested 247 times. Now there are 11,500 staff there. The minister said, she finds it dubious to equate emergency service calls, which actually some of them could have been for the fire brigade, for the people trying to set the factory on fire, could have been for all kinds of things, with accidents at work. It doesn't necessarily mean it was an accident. I mean, you could feel sick, right? You could feel like, I've had an ambulance call for me one time at work. I had a, a, an issue with my heart. It can happen. It doesn't necessarily mean that something fell on your head and tried to crush you to death. Anyway, Tesla has 11,500 workers. 
well, that's the size of an entire town. With such a big headcount, Tesserati says that the minister noted that medical incidents can happen, will happen, such as blood pressure, she said, imbalances, heart attacks, dizziness, fever, and nausea. And also people have said this 40% claim of employees getting sick because they're breathing in noxious fumes from the factory is made up. It's just someone's made this up because it sounded sensational. Now, I don't know, it could be true, but it sounds like it's probably not. That being said, the Ministry of Health said there has been seven serious incidents in the last three years since the factory began starting its build. But of those seven, it wasn't really Tesla that made them happen, at least most of them anyway. Marian Mishk, head of the Occupational Safety Department of the State Office for Occupational Safety, Consumer Protection and Health, said, for the most part, the incidents in Giga Berlin appear to have been minor. For the most part, these are minor accidents caused by stumbling, falling, or hitting something. No indications of inadequate occupational safety or organization were identified. She said this, during the construction phase of the factory, when Tesla had basically hired contractors to build it, they didn't actually do this themselves. Of course, they hired outside companies. The plant was inspected weekly, but during that period of time, I believe four of those seven accidents occurred. So from what I can tell, there's only been three serious accidents from 11,500 staff over the space of three years. Doesn't sound that bad to me. In 2021, there were 48 inspections at Tesla, with many of those being ones that were just unannounced. They turn up and try to check that you're not doing anything wrong. So they don't give you any notice that they're coming. There was 40 last year, 19 so far this year, and they said that inspections take place every two weeks. In addition, there are ad hoc surprise inspections every six to eight weeks without prior notice. So it seems to me that um, this publication in Germany might just have a little bit of a hidden agenda. I'm gonna guess Tesla doesn't pay for any advertising on their publication, maybe Mercedes, uh, BMW, Volkswagen Group, Audi, Porsche, maybe some of them have, have paid a little bit to advertise in their publication over the past few years. But maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.